Hey y'all, today is Tuesday and hopefully you've had a great start of your day. Well, I want to tell you something. This is the first year of the new year. And the first week of the new year is almost like breakfast in the morning. You know, how you start your day usually kind of correlates into how the day is going to go, right? You start your day off right. It's easier to make good habits going towards the end, the, the end of the day, right? You start your day off wrong. Listen, you could do a rebound and you can get a grip and you can still finish off really strong. This is the first week of the new year. And I know that last year was literally a week away or a couple of days away ago, but this is like the breakfast of your year, right? So, you know, there are stages to change. You have pre-contemplation, contemplation, preparation, planning, action. I mean, uh, preparation, action, and maintenance, right? So, if you are not necessarily ready to take action, you should be doing some research about the things that you really want to um, embrace this year, right? But what you can do is begin to speak these things into existence. And I know that, um, everything is not about just talking. It says it's, um, you know, action speaks louder than words, but sometimes the words come before the action. And so death and life indeed is in the power of the tongue right? You will notice that if you continue to confess things, it will take on a whole persona, a whole identity, and it can begin to, you know, damper with your mind. So, um, I made a video and I said that trauma does not know that it's a new year because it doesn't, but that doesn't mean you don't know it's not a new year. You can literally come against everything that is holding you back. Because, you know, one thing we don't want to do is keep living these years after years after years of drama and trauma, okay? And so it starts with you by simply saying, this year, I am going to step into my power and my identity in Christ Jesus. 